this is the guild of Dungeoneering On a quest we're never veering Or to be a Dungeoneer Swimming in pools of gold This is the guild of Dungeoneering All the monsters keep appearing Or to be a Dungeoneer Whose stories will be told What's that sound? I hear a noise Something's coming, girls and boys Run for the hills and far away For the guild of Dungeoneering Curse and swear but don't despair The way out of here must be over there I think we're lost but what do we care For the guild of Dungeoneering Hey guys, Nether King back again. Just wanted to let the music sink in because it is this game has some of the best music I've heard. Now, this is another Steam Spotlight. This is Guild of Dungeoneering. Obviously, I have the Pirate's Cove expansion, which is another, I think, like $10. But Guild of Dungeoneering is not a free game. It actually costs $15 on Steam, but it is a great game. And I'm going to show you. It It's for more like a certain kind of audience, though. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into a single-player well, they're only a single player. It would be really cool this if they could the do multiplayer. This is the Dungeoneering all across the land. They're cheering, oh, to be a Dungeoneer. Chasing fame and glory. Yeah, and also, you're going to notice something really quick in this. The narrator is extremely sarcastic and really kind of kind of tries to tear you down. So welcome to your guild. We need to get some Dungeoneers, so let's build a barracks. And do you see how it just kind of drawed it right there? Well, it drew it. The New one dungeon. that's always left behind. The solitary lump. The pawn who's fodder for the grind. The sorry little chump. <laughs> Yep, so that is the chump. Now, expand guild to gain new Dungeoneers and abilities. Let's go on an adventure. Alright. So, like I said... Oh, Knight is actually one of my favorite ones. Now, if you get the... Uh, Pirates Cove DLC. I believe you get the soundtrack with it. Now this is just showing us how to play. Now you can actually use gold to determine which way your uh, character will go. And it's kind of like a card based RPG. So we'll go ahead and we'll do a punch. And we'll do one more punch. And when you beat something, you get to pick a loot. Uh, what do I want? That gives a stupidity card. And that gives fire, that also gives a stupidity card. I'll go with the cup of that. So yeah, so this is just a cool little game. And basically, it's a card-based RPG. You put down the stuff, and see, like, if I put the silver coins down there, then, they, then the Dungeoneer would go that way. But I don't want him to. So, yeah, it's really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and block that. Now, there's different things. Like, you see, this is a red fist, and these are blue fireball kind of things. What that means is that this is magic damage, and this is physical damage. Now, since this shield has red and blue, it can block both. But, since there's only one shield on there, it can only block one of those two. Like, if he, if the rat had an attack that had a red and a blue, yes, the shield would be able to block both, but there's only one shield, so it can only block one. So we're just going to go ahead and keep wailing away on the rat. We're ahead of it in hits right now. Because we have three health and it has two. So we're gonna go ahead and finish it off. 
Now, one thing that you really need to know about this game. The enemy always hits first, unless you have a card that has this lightning bolt. Or you have a ranger. Or you have a spyglass on your character. Now, a ranger and a spyglass do the same thing. It gives a trait called ranged. And what that does is any physical attack, any of the red attacks, will hit first before your opponent. And that's what the lightning bolt does too when it says quick up there in the middle. So we're going to go ahead and take that. Because it's nice to have a strike before the other ones. So we're just going to go ahead and press end turn because we go right to there. We only need to take out one more monster. There we go. Go ahead and go for the two. Go for another two. Now, the cards with the fire bolt on them, oh, or with the lightning bolt on them, sorry, they only do the quick by themselves. They don't give quick to other cards. If you've got the trait ranged, it does that for all of your red damage cards. Uh, and you get, yeah, well, you get battle really scars depending on how you do Aren't in the dungeon. Just so it's this one got scrounger, one loot choice is of a higher level than You're normal. So dumb. Why even bother? Yeah, sorry I kind of covered over the narrator there. But he's kind of a jerk, so I really don't mind covering over him. Okay, here. This is the expand guild tab. Now what this is, is for the gold that you get in the dungeons, you can actually expand your guild by placing other buildings, like around here. You can never place a building down here, which I find kind of strange. I suppose this is like the entrance. But you place other buildings around, and that gives you extra dungeoneers. And it can also give you these talisman things, which they give you bonuses that are really good. Uh, the Tricksters one is one of my favorite ones, plus one loot choice slot, it's really good. But there's actually a character who already gets that, and that is the Cat Burglar. So I'm going to make a Cat Burglar's Hidden Den. Until now, we've all had some fun, and you could say you've come very far, but brace yourself for some woeful cat puns. Now that we have a cat burglar. Meow. <laughs> yes, yeah, so like the narrator said, the cat burglar actually makes cat puns during his whole thing. But, look, he has the trait covetous, which means he gets a bonus treasure card. Which is really good. So we're going to go ahead and take our cat burglar out. <laughs> Defeat the rat king, it says. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to build a couple of paths off the other side. Mm. Two hits. And we have a lightning bolt. Now, this can really help you. If you're on, like, one heart, and the enemy's on one heart, then you want to save your lightning bolt cards, because they can help you right at the end. Because then you can hit first. I mean, still use them during the fight. But if you know that the fight is going to be ending soon, you'll want to use it. Eh. Oh, you also have the option of just taking some gold. What that does is it gives you a gold card to place. One of those, like, one of these hope cards. It gives you one of those to place down. Let's place a room there. And a room there. 
and a rat. So yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of this. It doesn't take extremely long. We'll go catnip. Because it says hit next hit. And then we'll go throw cat for three instead. Big hits. And see, he's going to do two. He's just going to bring me down to one. Or, I can do the lightning bolt card. Let's see. Now, some of the weapons that are in this, I believe, are coming from the uh, Pirate's Cove DLC, but I'm pretty sure that the ones that I've been finding actually are from the base game, which is good. Uh, we're going to go with Slice and Interrupt. Chitter, chitter. We're going to put some gold there, but I think we're going to put another rat man right here. Go with catnip. Throw cap. Oh, big hits, big hits. And shift. Now, it's never this easy. This is only because it's just the first dungeon. But it's never this easy. Trust me. Let's go with the cooking pot because it's a head. And we don't have a head yet. Now, okay, so this no shield mark means that it'll go through block. So that you guys know. See, so watch. I'll do the shield, but it goes right through. And that's him done. Now, like I said, it's never this easy. Also, your character. I'm doing the air quotes right now. He levels up. Ooh, flame lash, look at that. Uh, your character quote unquote levels up. When you beat when you beat a monster of your same level. If you beat monsters of a lower level, he doesn't. Um the he's a level three because I beat a level two. So keep that in mind. He only levels up, he or she, because there's a lot of female heroes in this one, because it's just a randomly generated person. So we're going to go ahead and put a gold pouch up there. Alright, and we're just going to keep ending turn until we get up to the Rat King. And the music actually changes when you get into battle, too. Like, I looked on the soundtrack, and there's actually a whole separate battle music. It's called Such and Such Battle. And I thought that was pretty cool. Another thing that I like about the Cat Burglar is that he starts with a lightning bolt card as just one of his cards. I find that very helpful. And also you need... So there's a progression in the Expand Guild. Uh, let's see, what don't we have? No. Holy Seal isn't bad. So, there's actually a progression in the Expand Guild. You have to get the one above it, and I think you have to get four of a row, or three of a row, to go down a row. So his trade is Leader, but he doesn't have any actual surrounding minions, so that's fine. Hit him with a Fire Blast. Okay, 
catnip. And like I said, trying to keep that lightning bolt card in reserve in case I need it. But right now I've got two of them, so I kind of have to. And look, he can almost beat me. But I'm going to use my lightning bolt card. So it's unlocked goblins, well, a victimless crime, surprising. fire lord, and we've got in the trophy. All odds, they keep the new battle scar, Zelhat, which means it There's starts with Holy down. One, which I believe is, I believe is the skill that that headband gave us, Holy Seal, which is a block, and when you block, you get one heart back, which isn't bad. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> So we put the trophy room in. Caught up in all this doom and gloom of all the places you've wrecked. It's nice to have a big trophy room. A place to quietly reflect. So if you go in here and you mouse over, after you defeat a boss, it'll put their trophy in here. This is the Rat King's Tail. So... Yeah, I'm going to get one more thing. Uh, let's see. Who do I want? Now, it's not that I don't recommend the mime, but the mime is pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. They need to kind of fix the mime because the mime is really bad at the moment. I think I'm going to go with the Bruiser. Not a gentle kind of dungeoneer, nor a poet, or a muser, but one that fills the heart with fear. I give to you the Bruiser. Yeah. The, the narrator can be funny, but... And see, look. Since we've got two of them, we can go down the next tier, but it takes 500. Now, Ranger is one of my favorite guys in the entire game. Like, even these tier 3 guys, Ranger is better than some of them. So, Ranger is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, one thing that I do want is the Talisman of Heal Aid. Now, that doesn't make a building, but it gives you... So I'll just show you quick. What's this? There's more, a whole world to explore. Why, there's gold to be found and treasure in store. But what's the point you're all hit and miss? It's so plain to see. You're not cut out for this. Like I said, the narrator's kind of a jerk at some times. Um, so we're going to go ahead... And I'm going to show you how the talismans work. So basically, the first talisman only works for the first two battles that you get into. After that, it doesn't work. So let's go ahead and let's run in. When you get the talisman up to the next level though, it does work for more than just the first two battles. So let's put a spider. And see? Gains one health from hugging a bottle. Now it actually recounts the damage and health down here. So, yeah. Um, the spider has frail, which means any red attacks give it plus one da give plus one damage towards it. Now, the bruiser has spiky. When you fully block attacks, you deal one damage. Which the damage just comes from the from that area, and see the frail added one hit. Now I'm gonna block this, and I'll show you Spiky. There we go. Uh, the Bruiser is really good for blocking. This is pretty much its main deal. And see, we only have three cards instead of four because we're not using the Cat Burglar. So after this second fight, 
Oh, and the gold that you pick up in the dungeon actually does contribute to the amount of gold you get at the end, too. And they all talk in their own way. They don't actually talk, but they, they have the little chat bubbles. He's actually going to take two damage. One from Spikey, one from me. Uh, let's go ahead and just block it. We don't really have that good of a tag. No, we still don't have that good of a tag. Yeah, and all of their cards, they say on the bottom where you got them. Uh, yeah, the Bruiser cards, they've all just got kind of weird names. Um, any of them, that are your Dungeoneer's cards, basically. We'll have names that the Dungeoneer would actually say, like phrases they would actually say. So, uh, let's see. Let's go with a wooden stool. Because it doesn't replace our, um, it doesn't replace our repel, so go ahead. Uh, it does give us a stupidity card, though. Now, stupidity cards aren't bad. But they're just nothing. Like, literally nothing. Uh, his skeleton trait is brittle. Taking 4 plus damage in one turn causes 2 extra damage. Well, we're not going to cause 4 plus damage. With it does work that way. Oh! Another thing about the Ranger is that they have a card called Camouflage. Basically, it's a block all, but then it gives you plus one to your next physical attack. It's really good. Actually, he took three there. We might be able to get off four at some point, but we're not going to with this guy. Do an unblockable because he has a shield. Now, it is a little bit quick, and I'm sorry that it's this quick, but that's just how the game is. It just goes kind of quickly once you've figured out what you're doing. Now, that'll give us two extra health, but it will give us two, stupid, two more stupidity cards. And if you get a handful of stupidity cards, you can't do anything. Uh, we can go with the one more stupidity card and one more health, which isn't bad. And we only have to beat one more guy. We'll go beat up this guy. That poor guy. I'm sorry, Goblin. I'm sorry. Counter is a good one. One, two, three. Big hits, big hits. Get out of here. Yeah, some of the phrases that I say in my videos. They're all here. And see, it lost its heart anyway because that enemy sometimes has cards that make them lose health. Do you have Start with fire one. one. Well, that's interesting. Like the ivory league of explorers. Instead, you pillage and plunder and rip everything asunder. You're just a reckless bunch of marauders. Wow, you're a jerk. Anyway, so that is a quick look at Guild of Dungeoneering. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want me to play more of this on this new game that I've started comment down below because I will play more of it if you want me to. So go ahead, comment down below. This is the spotlight. I can start a series on it if you guys want me to. And yeah, this is a cool game with cool music and a jerk narrator. So it's definitely worth the $15. I mean, this game is really big. It's not limited to those four spaces. It gets humongous. I've got a, uh, one of my games that's going pretty far right now and yeah it's a massive massive game so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'm going to go ahead and go out from this there will be another spotlight video coming soon so keep an eye out all right like i said comment down below you want me to do more of this or comment on that steam video the steam channel update video which ones you want me to do. So, alright. Until next time, guys.